Have you seen these objects? Can you name them? Yes, these objects are a book, a tiffin box and a sandwich. If you keep them on table and view them from upside, you can identify their shapes. Can you name the shapes? Yes, they are rectangle, square and a triangle. You know that these shapes have a length. These shapes are closed shapes. All closed shapes have a perimeter. The sum of the lengths of all the sides of a figure is called its perimeter. Perimeter is useful for calculating the area of a closed figure. Let us now find the perimeter of the following figures. 1. Perimeter of a rectangle. This is a rectangle. Two opposite sides of a rectangle are always of the same length. Here, side AB is given as 4 cm. Its opposite side is side DC that is not given. Remember the rule. Opposite side is of the same length. So, side DC is also of 4 cm. Now, the length of side BC is given. It is 5 cm. So, what will be the length of side AD? Yes, it too will be 5 cm. Let us add all the lengths of this rectangle. Perimeter is equal to sum of the lengths of all the sides of a figure. Perimeter is equal to 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5. So, here perimeter is 18 centimeters. So, the perimeter of a rectangle ABCD is 18 centimeters. The longer side of a rectangle is also called as breadth. Hence, the formula is as follows. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by length plus 2 multiplied by breadth. Let's calculate now. Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by 5 plus 2 multiplied by 4. Therefore, perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 10 centimeters plus 8 centimeters. So, perimeter of a rectangle is 18 centimeters. Try measuring the length of your television set. Use the same formula. Which other things around you are rectangular in shape? It could be a toffee box, a laptop, a book and many more. Make a list. Try to find its perimeter. 2. Perimeter of a square. This is a square. All sides of a square are always of the same length. Here, side PQ is given as 5 cm. So, what would be the lengths of side QR, RS and SP? Let us add all the lengths of this rectangle. Perimeter is equal to sum of the lengths of all the sides of a figure. Perimeter is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So, perimeter is equal to 20 centimeters. So, the perimeter of the square PQRS is 20 centimeters. To make it easy, let us see the formula. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 multiplied by length of one side. Let us now calculate. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 multiplied by 5. Therefore, perimeter of a square is equal to 20 centimeters. Now try measuring the length of any square shaped object if you have. It could be a square shaped floor tile or anything. Use the same formula. Which other things around you are square in shape? It could be a mithai box, a handkerchief, a tray and many more. Make a list and try to find its perimeter. 3. Perimeter of a triangle. This is a triangle. The length of side AB is given as 4 cm. The length of side BC is given as 8 cm. And the length of side CA is given as 6 cm. Now find out the perimeter of the triangle. Use the following formula. Perimeter of a triangle is equal to sum of the lengths of all the sides of a figure. How will you calculate the area? 
yes the length of all the sides should be added together so 4 plus 8 plus 6 is equal to 18 therefore perimeter of a triangle abc is 18 centimeters so children do you know why a perimeter is needed in our day to day lives think I shall give a few examples. We need it to know as how much wire will be required to put a fence around a square or a rectangular plot. Unless we know the perimeter, we won't know the required length of the wire. Similarly, if you want to know that how much distance you have covered while taking rounds around a rectangular or a square plot, remember that perimeter is just the measurement of an outline of a closed figure. You can list many such reasons. Area. So children, we learned about how to calculate the perimeter of the closed figures like square, triangle and rectangle. Now let us learn about how to calculate the area of these closed figures. In simple words, area is the inner surface of any closed figure. To make the learning easy, let us learn about the concept of area using a graph paper. A graph paper. A graph paper is a checkered paper. Means it has specific arrangement of squares printed on it. See the graph paper carefully. Each square has a bold outline. Each square is divided into 10 very small squares in length and breadth. So 10 multiplied by 10 is equal to 100. That means each larger square has 100 very small squares. One such square is measured as 1 square centimeter. There are many large squares of 100 parts on each page of a graph paper. After every 5 horizontal and 5 vertical squares, there is a darker line. This helps us to count the squares accurately. Let us learn to calculate the area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle. See the first figure ABCD. It has 6 squares of 1 cm each inside it. The formula for calculating the area of a rectangle is as follows. Area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth. In the figure ABCD, the length that is the longer side is 3 cm. And the breadth, that is the shorter side, is 2 cm. Therefore, area of a rectangle is equal to 3 multiplied by 2. So, area of a rectangle is 6 square centimeters. You can also find out an area of a rectangle by using a paper, pencil and ruler too. It will take little bit of a more time, but it is fun. Do as follows. First, Draw a rectangle having a length of 3 cm and a breadth of 2 cm. Then, mark dots on all four sides of the rectangle having a distance of 1 cm between each dot. Then, join the opposite dots with a line using pencil and a ruler. And then, count the squares. This also will give the answer as 6 square centimeters. Similarly, you can calculate the area of a square. Area of a square. See the figure MNRS. So tell me how many squares of 1 cm do you see in this figure horizontally and vertically. The formula for calculating the area of a square is as follows. Area of a square is equal to length of a side multiplied by length of a side. In the figure MNRS, the length of one side is 3 cm and the length of another side is 3 cm too. Since this is a square, all its sides are of the same length. Therefore, area of a square is equal to 3 multiplied by 3. So, area of a square is 9 square centimeters. Calculate the area of the rest of the figures PQRS. EFGH and IJKL. Use the appropriate formula for each figure. Why do we need to find out area of a given figure? 
think over i shall give you a few examples cost of a painting or laying floor tiles or buying a plot is decided according to the cost per square centimeter or foot that means a cost of 1 square centimeter or 1 square foot is decided and it is multiplied by the area covered let us see an example a painter needs to calculate the area which he has painted to prepare a bill suppose his cost of painting 1 square meter area is 25 rupees per square foot and he has painted a wall of 10 feet multiplied by 10 feet sized wall the area of the square will be calculated as per the following formula area of a square is equal to length of a side multiplied by length of a side therefore area of a square is equal to 10 feet multiplied by 10 feet so area of a square is 100 square feet so the total cost of painting 100 feet area would be as follows cost is equal to area of a square multiplied by amount in rupees per square foot cost is equal to 100 square feet multiplied by 25 rupees so the cost is 2500 rupees amazon might need it to calculate the area on which he has laid the floor tiles to prepare a bill we need to know the area of a plot which we have bought to build a house then only we can calculate and pay the money now make a list of the situations where we need to know the area of a given figure summary shapes have a length all closed shapes have a perimeter perimeter is useful for calculating the area of a closed figure perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by length plus 2 multiplied by breadth perimeter of a square is equal to 4 multiplied by length of one side perimeter of a triangle is equal to sum of the lengths of all the sides of a figure perimeter is needed for many things in our lives example calculating the length of a required wire for fencing in simple words area is the inner surface of any closed figure area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth area of a square is equal to length of a side multiplied by length of a side area needs to be calculated for many things example a mason might need it to calculate the area on which he has laid the floor tiles to prepare a bill we need to know the area of a plot which we have bought to build a house etc exercise question 1 read the formula and fill in the blank 1 perimeter of a dash is equal to 2 multiplied by length plus 2 multiplied by breadth number 2 perimeter of a dash is equal to 4 multiplied by length of one side number 3 perimeter of a dash is equal to sum of the lengths of all the sides of a figure 4 area of a dash is equal to length multiplied by breadth number 5 area of a dash is equal to length of a side multiplied by length of a side question 2 calculate the area of the following figures 1 